Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and today we will be adding to our Styling Thrifted Decorations series. So I did find new things to share with you and then I want to add in some old things that I've done. I'm specifically going to be focusing on linens and what to look for when you're out thrifting and then what to do with them when you get home. So in the free box, you guys know I love the free box. I always check and see what's in there. I found two Nautica, which is a very beautiful brand, high quality, two Nautica king size pillowcases. I'm gonna show you what I do with these. I found a wool blanket. I really love the color of it. It's just this soft gray beige color and I'm going to show you how I'm going to dress this wool blanket up. I paid $10 for this at the thrift store. I found this little muslin bag with a stamp on it. I found that in the free box as well. Then I was looking through a pile of doilies and I found these. I actually thought they were doilies but they're just washcloths with a really pretty scalloped edge and I love scalloped edges. So. That was a fun find. I paid $2 for these for three total. Then I found this beautiful acrylic creamy color blanket. It has an M monogram on it, which my maiden name is Manchester, so I love it. And I paid $5 for that at a garage sale. Then I went home and checked. It's a Pottery Barn blanket. Always check for tags for brands. $79 on the Pottery Barn website. So I got it for five. And then I found some free pillowcases, just standard size white pillowcases. Now I'm gonna show you how I use linens in my just everyday decorating in bedrooms. And I do only get white sheets. I have done some fun things for the kids, but for myself, I only have white because I love to get them super clean and just crisp white. I just think that feels so good to actually sleep in really clean sheets. I actually did a video in the past on how I keep my sheets really white. If you want to check that out, we will link that for you. Okay, then I'm moving on to some of my all-time favorite DIYs that I've done with thrifted linens, and they're from the past. I'm picking my top seven favorite, and I'm, I just want to resurrect them and share them with you. So here's one. I had a free men's dress shirt. It was from the free box at a garage sale. And I turned it into this really cute French bistro apron. And I have a tutorial on how to do that. Then I inherited this doily, this bird doily, which was kind of odd. I could not figure out what I was gonna do with it. If you see anything like this that you can't figure out, is it unique or is it like dorky? <laughs> This is an idea that you might be able to do and you can maybe even put this on a jacket or something But I added it to a linen skirt that I got at Goodwill and I just hand stitched it on and it kind of has a poodle Skirt feel to it and I love it and I get the best compliments on it I've had it for years and people love my bird skirt then we had a baby That I lost four years ago. You may have read this story. Her name was Wren and so now This skirt I call it my Wren skirt because it makes me think of her with the bird flying. I also highly recommend grabbing beautiful dust ruffles, especially the twin size dust ruffles. If they have a really nice edge on the bottom, snatch those up. They make great tablecloths for banqueting tables. I love the crocheted trim. I've used them for tablecloths. I've cut them in half and used them as drapery panels. And I made this beautiful throw blanket by just stitching with my machine the dust ruffle to some beautiful like a little bit of contrasting linen and I have a tutorial on that. Okay, here's a really old DIY. It was like one of the first ones I did when I started the blog. I took a lace tablecloth and I turned it into a little tent and I've seen them done with tea to make a little teepee as well 
But I did that one year for my nieces. I made a couple of tents for two different families and that was their Christmas gift and you tie it with little ribbons and makes a really sweet touch in a little girl's room. All right, back to inherited linens. My grandmother gave me a bunch of handkerchiefs, very dainty white handkerchiefs. And I got some driftwood off the beach at my parents' beach house and I made several of these little boats. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get in trouble for cutting grandma's handkerchiefs, but everybody liked them, so we're okay. But yes, so you can turn handkerchiefs into a little sailboat and they make really cute decorations. I use them for the summer or gift ideas. Even party decorations would be really cute, like for a baby shower or something. Another thing you can do with lace tablecloth or a lace curtain is to create a window frame. This is a DIY that I will link for you. The screens were broken in several of our windows and I ran out of patience and decided to make my own window screens and actually love it. Now you can't shut the window with these in them, but they're beautiful and I don't mind at all that I don't have regular store-bought frames. Okay, and last but not least is this chair that I'm sitting in. Now, I made the back of this, it's embroidered, and I wanted a wreath, this wreath used to be my logo on the blog, but you could get a tea towel or some fabulous piece of fabric, and if you just have a small piece, it could look really good on the back of a chair. So think about that when you're out thrifting. All right, so I've been working around my house and I've got some things to show you. The first thing I wanna show you is how I styled the pillowcases, the standard size pillowcases. So I really like to use white sheets, which I mentioned earlier, but I like to incorporate them into my decorating. So I do have the fitted and the flat sheets, the bed sheets are folded and they're in a really pretty basket on top of my husband's armoire. And then for the pillowcases, I like to iron them. In fact, that's how I teach my kids to iron. That's how I start them is they iron pillowcases because that's how I learned. And I fold them and then keep them stacked in this wire basket from Hearth and Hand. And it's just easy to use and looks beautiful and doesn't have to take up closet space. So if you can incorporate your sheets somehow in a basket or something and make them look beautiful in your room. I think that's a win-win. Then I was really excited to get going on the wool blanket that I found. I found this beautiful crocheted lace trim on Amazon, which I will link for you below. But I love the contrast of the, the feminine and masculine and the rustic and Victorian look together. And so, I am stitching this slowly. I didn't finish it all in time for you guys because it's about eight hours of hand stitching, but I thought it'd be really good during movies or for listening to audiobooks or something. So that's a fun way to take a, just a standard wool blanket to the next level is add this really feminine touch to it. Then for the little muslin bag that I had, I do have a collection of natural woven bags and burlap shopping bags and things and I keep them all in the front room in our house and so when I'm shopping or I'm, I need to go take things to someone I use these bags so it's getting a little full I don't know if I could add much more to these pegs here but I did add that little bag and I love that it brings in the the cream contrast and it's a different size so I think it works well there then for the king size pillowcases I made some hampers a while back. It's still one of my favorite DIYs that I did. And we just took, you could take chicken wire or, you know, fencing. We literally like dug it out of the back of our shop and cut it with wire cutters and made these really cute hampers. And they're on a wooden round. And then we put some little cheapo casters on them. And I love them, they're great hampers. But the liner is a king size pillowcase. That's what I'm using my pillowcases for to upgrade what we were having. The one I had in my hamper was starting to get kind of tattered, so switching it out with those free ones I found. And I will link that tutorial below because I know you're gonna love it. Then the Pottery Barn blanket I'm adding in. I especially think I'm really gonna like it for Christmas decorating because it kind of has a scarf feel to it that I love. And it goes with my traditional English cottage feel that's my favorite these days. 
I just tucked it in here and it's just so soft. It feels like cashmere. So anytime you find a throw blanket that just feels fantastic, acrylic does feel like cashmere, so look for acrylic. But I just tucked that in this chair in my bedroom and I think it's gonna look really nice heading into fall and winter. All right, so I do have some fun news. Back by popular demand, my Pinterest mini course is available again. It's a $10 course. We, it's, we meet via Zoom and I go live, I teach the class, it's, it's, goes, it's a three day course. So there is a recording you can get if you can't make it to our class time, but that's coming up. Please join us, people love the class, I love teaching it. And if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so I can send you more videos on how to make interior design easy. All right, take care, I'll talk to you soon.